The last few months we've been preparing for a new display of Māori taonga or cultural treasures here in the Welcome Trust Gallery where we have four large new displays and the one behind me is of Māori objects from New Zealand and it includes an indicative meeting house front. The meeting house is an important symbol of tribal pride. It also includes new components by the artist George Nuku. My involvement in the living and dying display in the Wellcome Trust Gallery was part of a greater involvement on the part of the Māori community. We were invited to come and consult with the British Museum. It was, a, it was an attempt to have an open and honest dialogue between the British Museum and the Māori community based in London. Out, out of that consultations came the ideas to make the works for the case. Having George work here in the museum really demonstrated to the staff and the public that Māori culture is very much alive today and that it's changing. It kind of talks a, a bit about a world view, that we could make this 18,600 miles away from where it's supposed to be made. It says something about our desire and our willingness to want to get into the world. When Māori Tonga are put on display in museums, it's quite common for there to be a ceremonial blessing that prepares the objects for the public to interact with them. Well, a while ago I came to the British Museum for a Māori um, ceremony or blessing started very early in the morning, about 7.30, but it was a time where a lot of the Māori community and New Zealand community living here in London came to formally bless the taonga or the treasures that are, that are here at the British Museum. It started with um, the pukaya, the sound of the pukaya, the traditional Māori instrument. Um, there were responses to the pukaya, and that was through the pūtātara. The karanga is the woman's welcoming call. It binds everybody together, so you'll hear responses to the karanga. Women from both groups will respond to one another's calls. The actual day of the blessing of the dedication, the investiture itself, was uh, indeed a big day for me. It gave me the opportunity to say first and foremost to, to the world, to all present, what I was feeling about the carvings themselves and what motivated me to paint the little pi pictographs on the rafters. <laughs> The importance of the people that were there that day to partake in the blessing and walk around the taonga and touch and feel what they could was to awaken the taonga, was to put their modi or their life force into the taonga.
So at the end of each speech, to show their support to what has been said, the group will get up and they will sing a song or a waiata or they will do a haka and within the words of the haka or the waiata or the song um, are words that support or make reference to what the, what the speaker has said. I think the display is beautiful and I, I, I would like to have it in my like, living room. It portrays Māori culture as a living culture. It says that Māori culture has its roots firmly in the past, but it's also saying that it's injected with a sense of vigour and, and a bright sense of hope for the future. And uh, I think the display has achieved that.